And so, my dear Watson, the day and night which we passed in Whitechapel were enlightening, weren't they? An adventure that I most certainly will never relate, to be in the skin of that poor woman. I prefer not to speak of it further. But have we really learned anything about the murderer? Obviously a man, given the necessary strength. We have little to go on, at least no more than the police. But in my opinion, Inspector Abiline has a trick or two up his sleeve. No, I want to talk about the facts and what we can draw from them. We know where the crime was committed and under what conditions. I would like to ask you about the possible motives for the crime. According to you, Watson, what could have pushed the murderer to act in such a way? Revenge, Holmes? Revenge could be a possible motive, but with one small reservation, we have reason to believe that the victim considered her murderer to be a typical client. A personal drama? Love can certainly lead to many a drama, but we have to consider the fact that the victim didn't know her attacker. Mm, theft, perhaps? I have a hard time believing that someone would attack poor Polly so fiercely just to rob her of a few coins. Homicidal insanity, Holmes. It is indubitable that the man who did this to Polly Nichols is not of his full senses. Elementary. Very well, Watson. I think that we've exhausted the topic. Take a rest and we'll speak again later.